Welcome brothers and sisters to part 9 of our series The Funny Religious History of West Europe. Dominique et Nicanique s'en allaient tout simplement Aux dieux, pauvres et chantants En tout chemin, en tout lieu, ils ne parlent que du bon Dieu Ils ne parlent que du bon Dieu So after the Egyptians Monotheism was considered as the backfire of history and for a very long time nobody would ever consider to go back to this stupid concept. So we had for a long time peace and silence on earth. But then came the Jews. Well, the Jews were also polytheists. They also had multiple gods. The commandment who shall not have other gods before me makes absolutely no sense if there are not more of them. Then came the Babylonians to invade the Jews and said so, my dear Jews, now you take our gods. But the Jews didn't translate their gods how the Romans did with the Greek gods, no, they saved their own gods over to this new period of time. This became more and more difficult and one day only Yahweh remained rest. This Yahweh is also supposed to be the Christian God, the God of the Christian Western civilization. But originally with the Jews, Yahweh was not more than, maybe today, a department manager in a provincial Walmart branch. And then he worked up to become the solo entertainer of our times. Yes, when Moses came down from Mount Sinai and said, Ah, you know, let's make it simple, there's only one. I tell you his name, but I don't tell you how he looks like. Yes, because you should not make a picture of God. We also had this rule. And said Moses, I have a good and a bad news. The good news is I traded him down to 10. And the bad news, adultery is still in. Fortunately, the churches noticed that this monotheism still remained a mess. Yes, they directly changed this back to Father, Son and Holy Ghost and added the sweet Mary to them. Yes, because also the heavens need a wife and also has to be cleaned up sometimes. So now then they added all the holies to them to let you know that the human still can become a god. Like Caesar or our Clovis. I remember uh, what George W. Bush said when Pope Benedict was in America. He said, when I see Pope Benedict in his eyes, I see God. Okay, Bush is evangelical. He couldn't have known that the Pope is only a vice god or, well, a deputy god. The Pope needs only one more promotion to get to this level. See, when the Pope drives through the streets with his Papa Mobile, how people acclaim him. Of more than a half million people in the streets to cheer him. With the evangelicals this would be unthinkable. Imagine Adrian Rogers, the chairman of the Southern uh, Baptist Convention, driving with such a mobile through the streets. He would have less than 10 minutes a ticket because his seatbelt is not fastened. If it's the Pope, nobody would ever dare to give him a ticket. A god, pardon, a vice god, don't 
has to fasten a seat belt. But okay, so the Pope drives through the streets with his car and blesses the crowd. This is Carnival. Carnival Carus Navalus in Latin, the car of the fool. Or today uh, Americans call this an SUV. The Pope drives a Mercedes SUV with a terrarium on the top. And he speaks about trust in God, but has bulletproof glass. Why this is allowed to this Pope? Well, I will explain it to you. The Pope is Roman Catholic. So first he is Roman, then Catholic came on the second place only because it's not so important. The Pope is one thing before all others, namely Roman. Now ask any, any theologian you might know. The Trinity, Father, Son and Holy Ghost comes from the Roman triad. Jupiter, Juno, Minerva. The Romans had it from the Greeks, and by the Greeks it was Zeus, Hera and Athena. For next time we will see in our chapter 10 how this can all resume together. What can I say for today? As every time, caress you and thank you very much.